hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me sarah and make sure you subscribe and comment and like um this video so i can you know know what you want to see next or let me know what you like about this video um as you can see i'm starting off with her brows and i'm using the benefit precisely my brow pencil and i believe this shade is 4.5 um, ever since MAC switched up their spiked formulation, I don't know, i just been using Benefit, so it works for me. I don't love the new MAC spiked pencil, but maybe I just have to play around with it. I don't know. It looks a little gray to me, so that's why I've been using Benefit. So just, you know, filling in the brows. Your brows don't have to be twins. They're supposed to be sisters, though, so... Don't take it too serious because you can always go in with your concealer and fix it up. And that goes for if you have like um, hairs, like if your brows aren't done. Concealer fixes all of that, girl. So, you know, just brushing it out, filling it in, filling it in as I go. Sometimes I like, a st I like to step away like from my client and look to see like for the symmetry. Um, but yeah, I'm going in with my concealer and this is MAC, I believe this is Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. And I'm using a 212 brush by MAC, or is it a 217? Whatever that flat top concealer brush is, you could use an angle brush, but, or girl, you could even use a lip brush. I love these brushes though, the, the flat top ones. So just making sure everything looks even. And I did go on top of her brows with this same concealer. Normally, I like to use something that is a little bit darker on the top. So it's not as highlighted because I'm over that phase. But for some reason, when I did Sis Makeup, I still use the same concealer. So I'm going in with that. And again, I tell you, like, when I'm filling in brows, it might not be perfect, but it's because I know... I can use concealer to make it even and, you know, look all clean. So now, yep, just doing the top. And you'll also touch this up, too, when you put on her foundation or put on your client's foundation. Super easy to clean that up, even if the concealer is light that you're using. You could just go um, on top of it with that. And I'm just taking that line and blending it. So I'm basically just using my brush and pushing it up. So it's not just like a line and then skin. So after I do her concealer, I'm going in with a base for her um, eyeshadow. And I used the ColourPop concealer for the first time in the shade light 18 and I'm just packing that on then I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs um, eyeshadow palette it has like a zebra front it's called the Marc Jacobs the wild one palette and I'm mostly using shade 11 10 and 15 let me see I don't know if they have names but Marc Jacobs, yeah, they don't have names, but on the back of the palette, it shows you the numbers. So I'm just doing all of that. And I'm actually going to use a one of those shimmer shades on her lid. But I'm deepening up her crease just a bit after I go in with her transition shade. The shades look really light in the palette, but once you put it like on skin... Or on top of that light base, that ColourPop, it stands out. So just buffing those colors in. They're almost purple looking, but in the palette, they look kind of neutral. So be mindful of what base you're using because sometimes the colors will pull a little bit differently. But I like the way it came out. It was super glamorous, so keep watching. So 
So yeah, I'm deepening up her crease again. So I ended up making it more of a smoky look. So I'm just using like a dark purple in her in her outer crease or outer V, I'm sorry. Then I ended up going in with a shimmery color and putting that all over her lid. That was also out of the Marc Jacobs palette <clears throat> and just a flat brush. Same thing for the other side, just using that flat brush and putting, it's like a champagne color that's on her lid, honestly. So then at this point, I actually go on top of the shadow with the pigment by MAC that's called Reflex Transparent Teal. It looks so pretty in pictures. It's ridiculous how pretty this is. But then I'm going back with my deep color and deepening up the crease again. I did use a little, little, little smidge of black. Um, but you got to be careful when using black because sometimes it's like overpowering. So just adding that. And then just going back and forth with the transition color. Because you don't want too much of that black everywhere. So, yeah. So, at this point, I'm going in with her moisturizer. And for her moisturizer, I just use the MAC Studio Moisture Fix. Then I ended up going with, going in with the Melanie Mills um, Gleam and Peach Deluxe. I think that was a collaboration with Sandra Deluxe. And then I popped her lashes on too. And as you can see, I'm taking a little picture just to show how her skin looks with moisturizer and that highlighting powder. I mean the highlighting um, liquid cream moisturizer. So now I'm just going in with her foundation. And when it comes to foundation, I am always mixing stuff together. So I can't say exactly what the shade is, but the majority of the color is the NARS in the color Sh Stromboli. And honestly, I don't even know if that's the proper way to pronounce it. But yeah, that's it. Um, I did mix a little bit of a lighter shade into it because it was looking a little dark to me. But you'll see how it comes together because I ended up lightening it up a bit. But yeah, just doing this as my base. And as I said earlier, you can always use your brush to go over the concealer for the upper part of the brows. So it's not just like that line of demarcation. And this is a Cosette brush that I'm using to blend out. And I love that brush. It's an angled brush. And this concealer that I'm using on her was the um, Benefit Born This Way concealer, but it wasn't light enough. So I ended up putting it on and then going on top of it with the MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW15. And some of the Maybelline. Well, the Maybelline wasn't as light as the MAC, but I used the Maybelline. And then I was like, this still isn't light enough. So I'm blending that out. And then you'll see me go back in with my Beauty Blender. But this brush is just everything. Like It, it just reminds me of a Beauty Blender, but just a brush. But don't it look pretty so far? So yeah, just blending out the under eye area. So far, this is just the Benefit and the um, Maybelline concealer. And the Maybelline is, you know, the Age Rewind one that twists up. So just buffing that out. And you'll see me use another concealer soon. Because I end up using a Beauty Blender to apply that. Her lashes look so good. So yeah, I'm just adding a lighter concealer. And since I wanted her foundation to look a bit lighter, I end up just using the blender, beauty blender all over her face. Just buffing out the foundation, yep. So if you ever feel like your application for your foundation is not the right, maybe not the right um, darkness or like lightness, you can always kind of buff out the product that you have and then go on top of it with something else. Or you could just take it off completely. I didn't have time for that, so 
We just used what we had. So now I am setting her under eye and I don't bake, but I do put like a generous amount of powder under my client's eyes and all the areas that were highlighted, especially if I know it's summertime, it's hot. I know you might be sweating. I know you might want to keep the makeup on for a long period of time. So I do go in with that powder, but I don't bake, if that makes sense. So I use a beauty blender to make sure I press it in to the skin. And make sure that um, product that's liquid is being absorbed by the powder. So all the highlighted areas is getting touched with the powder. And don't she look cute already? Like, we're not even done. Like, I feel like this look, I could see this on Kim Kardashian or one of the Kardashians. Maybe the ponytail is just giving me Kim K. I don't know, but yeah. I think I used a brush because it was creasing a little bit. So before I put more powder on her, I just made sure it was blended out so it wasn't no creasing before I put powder on. I know y'all probably like, what was that about? But yeah, that's why. Just pressing that powder in. Going back in with this brush. And I had a translucent powder on this. I think it was the RCMA translucent powder all over the brush. I'm just pressing it in. Then I go in with my Fix Plus, take that powdery look away, and wait till it dries. And then I went in with my contour powder. And I know my brush kind of looks pink, but it just was stained. I forgot which, like it's not really a pink pigment on there. My brush is clean, it just is stained with that color. So I'm using the Aaliyah um, Matte Collection with the shade Baby Girl. And I'm just contouring her, her up with that. And this shade looks really good on her. And it was funny because she ended up saying that she has that same bronzer. And my client is actually a makeup artist. I just used her because we were taking pictures and I needed a model. So, yeah. She's all bronze, contoured. It's looking good. Contouring her jawline and her cheekbones. Then I ended up taking some lighter powder and just dusting off all that translucent powder that was under her eyes. I believe I took that YSL loose powder um, <clears throat> in the shade, I'm sorry, in the shade number two. Now I'm highlighting her with that Amrezy and Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlight glow powder. I don't even know if it has a name, but you know what I mean, the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy. And I'm putting that on her body, too, because her um, shoulders and neck is actually going to show up in the pictures, too. And then as far as her blush, I use the Tarte um, blush in Part A. Um, they say it's a 12-hour blush, so I don't know what truth, um, if that's actually the truth. But, yeah, that's the blush. Um, now I'm actually doing... Her um, lower lash line, I went in with my MAC um, liner. What's the name of this? Oh, engraved. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Falsies mascara, doing her bottom lashes. Then I go in with Cork lip liner, which is also by MAC. And I used to work in MAC for a few years, so I feel like not everything in my collection is MAC, but... A generous amount is from MAC. Um, <clears throat> her gloss is also from that Aaliyah and MAC um, collection. And it's called Brooklyn Born. So I didn't use a lipstick, just a liner and a gloss. And boom, we done. Sis looking good. She looked real good. So we did a shoot after this and the pictures came out so pretty. I can't wait to post them on my Instagram, but this is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think, um, and let me know what kind of video you want to see next. I was thinking about doing my own makeup in a tutorial, but I don't know. Let me know.